Hey y'all. So I ordered a new drop bus a few days ago. I got one from PMW. I currently have a dropper post on my uh, Salsa Pony Rustler. However, I don't like it. Uh, it's really slow on the on the return. You hit the lever uh, when the post is down, when the seat's down, the seat does not always come back up. A lot of times I have to reach down and then uh, pull the seat up. So I figured it was time for a new one. And uh, looking online, uh, this is a, the newest one from PNW. It's the Rainier uh, Gen 3. So let's see what all came in this box here. Uh, I ordered the post and the lever. Uh, I got the loam lever. And I got it in cement gray. So it should look pretty sweet on the bike. And this one I ordered with the uh, piece that goes with my Shimano brakes. So just this weird little uh, thing is all that goes to hold it on. So three parts that came in this thing for $69. Lever, a screw, and a little bit of clamp. Uh, didn't know that it was coming with this, but I'm glad it did. Uh, it says small parts, but it also says it's down here in the sticker. It says it's the PNW cable, so that's good because uh, I didn't think to order a new cable. So I'm glad that came with it. It even came with a thank you. It says, "Welcome to the PNW squad. Chances are you're like us, and your bike is an integral part of your happiness." So we're honored you chose the PNW Components Loam Lever to accompany you and your two-wheeled bestie. Indeed. And then, all right, here we go. This is it. Dropper post. 31.6, 150 millimeters. Uh, G3. One thing about the PNW stuff, no plastic, uh, no little ties or anything. It's just all cardboard, so it's all recyclable. So I ordered this one because it's a 150 mil travel, but it's adjustable, so it can go down uh, from 150 in 10 mil increments. So it'd be 140. Uh, all the way down 30 mils, so 120 mil. Um, and you don't have to have any tools or take anything apart. Uh, just unscrew here, this collar. Uh, and then that slides up. I think you have to pop the the dropper to extend it and it pushes this white collar up and then you just turn it and it's got uh, incremental marks on here from 0, minus 10, minus 20, minus 30. And that changes how far the travel up it will go. Then you just, once you've adjusted it, snug this back down. Once I get this on the bike, I'm gonna start with 150 and see how it goes. So I'm not gonna mess with it yet. Uh, I'll wait till we get it installed. So there it is. Hopefully uh, I can get this mounted up quick. My bike's currently at the shop getting the um, front and rear suspension service because that is not something I've ever had to do before and I don't know what I figured is better to trust it to the experts. So. Hopefully today is the day and the bike is ready to go. Uh, and we can get this dropper post mounted. I'll see y'all back uh, once we get the bike back.